Site pages are the most common content type on the Digital Commons platform. They are well designed to comprehensively present information and include a means for easy navigation to related pages. The breadcrumb trail at the top of the page shows its place in the site structure. The right rail navigation also shows where the page fits in the site. The page title is at the top. Site pages can optionally include a main image. This image is positioned at the top of the page and represents the subject of the page as a whole. You can also have images embedded in the text of the page. You can present information in an accordion. This is a great way to get a lot of information in a small area. An accordion can also be formatted as tabs, meaning the information is presented horizontally rather than vertically. Accordions are more appropriate for site pages, which aren't very wide. You can learn more in the instructional video, Accordions and Tab Accordions. You can add files to a site page, such as PDFs or Word documents. You can link to related content, whether it is a page on your site or on an outside website. You can embed an HTML table or a video in a site page. These are covered in separate instructional videos. Let's walk through the process of creating a site page. In this example, we'll work as an editor level user. That means we can create a site page, but we can't publish it or put it in the menu structure. In the admin toolbar, click Add Content, then Site Page. There are a lot of fields. We'll examine them one at a time, working from top to bottom. Every piece of content has a title. The field has an asterisk and it is highlighted in orange. That means it's required. Type in a title for the page, Blueberry Industry. The body field is where you'll put most of the information for your page. I'm going to paste in some text I copied from elsewhere. Using the Paste as Plain Text tool removes unwanted formatting. We talk more about the body field and pasting in the video entitled Using the WYSIWYG Text Formatting Toolbar. You never need to change anything in the text format area. Leave everything as it is. Thumbnail image is a feature that's included by default, but it's not employed on the platform. You can ignore it. Language should be set to language neutral, not English or Spanish. Those are used when you have translated versions of a page linked to each other. You'll know it if you need to do that, so otherwise leave it as language neutral. We can add a main image to the page. In this case, since our page is about blueberry farming, I'm going to put a photo of blueberries. Click the Open File Browser link. From here, you can choose an image that's already on your website, or you can choose to upload one. I'm going to choose blueberryfarm.jpg. Click Select, or double-click on the image. Now you see a little preview of the image and its file name. If you decide you don't want that image, you can click Remove. You should always enter alternative text. For people who use screen readers, this tells them what the image contains. It should be a simple, straightforward description without editorializing. You can optionally add title text. This is what the user sees if they hover the mouse over the image. You can be a little more creative here. Let's save the page now. Scroll down to the bottom and click the blue Save button. It's a good practice to save frequently. Here's our page. Here's the breadcrumbs at the top, the page title, the main image, the text we put in the body field. There's no right rail menu because the page has not yet been published and placed into a menu. We'll show that later. You'll notice the pink background. That reminds us we are looking at a draft, not a published version. Visitors to the website can only see published content. In the tabs, we are currently on view draft. In other words, we're just looking at it. If we want to make more changes, we click on Edit Draft. That puts us back into editing mode. Now let's add a PDF to the site page. Scroll to the Files section. Under the Upload field, you'll see the file types that are allowed. Click Open File Browser. You can upload a file or choose from existing files. Let's upload one. 
Choose the file. Now click the Upload button. Click Select or double-click the file. The file is attached. You can see the file name and its size. If you decide you don't want it, you can click the Remove button. The Display checkbox controls whether a file is visible or not. You may want a file to be available only for part of the year, for example, a grant application. You can attach it to the site page and change its visibility status as you wish. Let's add another file. Under Add a new file, click Open File Browser. As before, select a file or upload a new one. Double-click or click Select. Now let's add some related content. In this case, the NCSU Cooperative Extension website has some relevant information we want our visitors to be aware of. Enter a title for the link in the Title field. Type or paste the address in the URL field. As with the files, you can add more items if you choose. Moving down the page, the last field is called Key Search Topics. This is a way to bring a particular page to the top in search results. This field is for website managers. Editors shouldn't enter information here. Let's save. Here are the files we added under Associated Files. And here's the link under Related Content. There's one last change I want to make. I want the soil preparation document to be shown first, above Blueberry Industry Report. Click the Edit Draft tab. Scroll to the File section. Click the Show Row Weights button. Weight is how the platform orders things. By default, it set the first item to zero and the second item to one. In Drupal, the bigger the number, the lower it is. When I click the drop-down next to Soil Preparation, I can change it to something above zero. That will put it above the industry report. When you save, it will make the change. Now that our page is finished, there's one last step. We need to get it published. Set the publication status to Needs Review. Click the Apply button. This lets publishers know that you're done and ready to publish. But wait, there's a little bit of a catch with site pages. For this content type only, a site admin should publish it for the first time, not a publisher. Only a site admin can put it in the menu. The site admin goes to my workbench and looks for content with the status of needs review. She reviews the page and edits it in order to put it in the menu. Then she saves it as published. Now the page has its correct breadcrumbs and the right rail menu. So for the first time, a site admin must always publish a site page. After that, a publisher can publish subsequent revisions. Find more instructional videos on digitalcommons.nc.gov.